Hello and welcome to Scrap Laboratories, owned and run by Metal Dragons Incorporated. I am the head engineer here at Scrap Laboratories, and today I'm going to take you on a little tour through our showroom to give you a peek at our latest technology. Let's go ahead and take a look. Lads, welcome back to another deck profile today, specifically another scrap profile and more specifically another variant scrap pile that uh, does some weird shenanigans. So if you guys like this video today, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If we get to 20 likes today, I will do a combo tutorial for this deck because it's just very neat and a lot of fun. I took my favorite deck and one of Patrick's more favorite decks. It's not quite his favorite, but it is up there. Uh, and I threw them together and I made it work. It was kind of one of those things that was like a dare and uh, it ended up actually working out. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the deck profile today. So for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, you probably know what scraps do. Um, so I'm gonna kind of run through these pretty quickly. If we get to the combat tutorial, I'll go more in depth about what the cards do for the people that don't understand it, but that is totally fine. So jumping right in today, we are playing three copies of our scrap Raptor here, the best boy, uh, best normal summon of the deck and can get you almost a full combo. Uh, you kind of need to pair it with some extra cards here like three copies of scrap yard which will add a scrap tuner which can be raptor or another target that we do have in the deck we are also playing three copies of our good old fossil dig just for extra consistency yes this deck will probably die to droll do i care not really so uh let's move on next up here we are playing one terraforming with three copies of scrap factory as well if you get Scrap Raptor and Scrap Factory or Scrap Raptor and another card which Raptor gets you to Factory, uh, you you have the golden ticket. You are just allowed to basically do whatever you want in the game. It's incredible. Uh, next up here is two Scrap Chimera. If you open up with this and a Raptor or a Raptor and a Factory, then uh, it's just you're, you're going off from there. Scrap Orthros is our other Scrap Tuner target in the deck. Uh, just great to have at one. And we are playing two Scrap Golem to round off the main deck Scrap package here. There's a lot of other stuff that the scrap combo ties into that is relevant but that will come up later on so that is the scrap engine it's basically bare bones what you'd expect to be playing for any sort of scrap variant there are some cases where you don't run the factory but in this case the factory is mandatory so going on to the next engine here the fun part of this deck we have three copies of stake your soul that's right baby we're vanquishing some souls today and uh we got some means to do it so obviously the scraps are going to cover a lot of your earths so we are worried about covering our fire and dark bases and we are going to be basically be doing that mainly in engine we're playing two copies of vanquish soul raisin um just to make sure that we can have one it gives us extra access to fires um and if you open one it's actually just fine like you can just play the combo differently and you're good to go so absolutely love having that uh we have one vanquish soul dr mad love to get to our spells and traps we have one pantera as a free extender if we open it it just helps us combo off harder it's an extra target to get in the deck so just a, a good bonus name to have uh, we're playing one Vanquish Soul Jowlong because we're just adding this off of Raisin 90% of the time. Uh, one Heavy Borger and one Caesar Valleus for our monsters. We search all these out super easily. We're not too worried about having multiples because we're not playing pure Vanquish Soul. We're playing a more combo heavy version that allows us to grind with the Vanquish Soul engine. And once again, if we get to that combat tutorial, you'll see exactly how things work a lot easier uh, and how it all flows together. Next up, we're running one Vanquish Soul Continue, just a free reborn or add back to hand allows you the grind game a lot easier off of dr mad love and then we also have soul snow devil to either get off of jow long or mad love depending on how you open and how you decide to play it uh just a fantastic card next up here uh to the last part of the vanquish soul engine that's not really engine we have uh infernoble arms durandel it's not vanquish soul by name but it is part of the engine it's a way to get raisin and you'll definitely see how this ties together once we get to the extra deck now for our non-engine stuff this is kind of attribute requirement plus extenders plus extra disruption plus board breaking yes we're doing it we're playing the three copies of cash Chira fenrir he's just too insane not to play and of course paired with that we have the one cash Chira rise heart as a fire target to be able to search from deck you could play a rank seven in this deck if you really wanted to just to have a backup plan i found it a little hard to find the space for in this deck so i eliminated that but having the fire off of rise heart is just nice or you can always fenrir add fenrir if you just want extra cards in hand 
Uh, next up for our little mini engine here, we do have one Makonko Water Arabesque, one Hare the Sword Mikonko, and one Makonko Fire Dance just to give us some extenders to play with. It's a three card package. It probably could be cut. I'm greedy, so I like playing it, but you definitely could swap these out for more hand traps if you wanted, like a play set of Imperms would probably be fine here. Um, I just thought that this was really good. This is another fire you can end up drawing, but mostly it's just a free monster summon from deck that gives you a reborn for it that you could just play with. Also helps going second if you just need a little bit of extra damage. You can crash this into an opponent's monster, then attack over it with your other stuff and get some extra damage in that way. Uh, and also having the equip spells make them not be able to be destroyed by card effects is actually really good. It comes in very handy with the scrap package. It helps you do some really silly combos. So I, I kept it in basically for that reason. That was the deciding factor in keeping it in was the uh destruction protection so and lastly here for our non-engine we are running three copies of the ash blossom and joyous forehead an extra fire target in the deck as well as three copies of dd crow for extra darks it's not uber consistent on the attributes but you don't see these two infrequently and they're good hand traps so it's just good to have them um, not at all mad about that. So that's it for the main deck. Let's go ahead and go to the extra deck. We are playing two copies of the best boy scrap wyvern for the extra deck. Just like we have Raptor for the main, we have wyvern for the extra. Uh, absolutely fantastic. This is the start of your combo. The next step is actually a power tool braver dragon, which is where everything ties in because with him, you can equip up to three equip spells from your deck or graveyard to him. And, uh, yeah, that basically gets your combo going. You keep popping off from there. You go into a star, you just school dread and then into a world sea dragon zelantis those of you that understand uh scrap and those of you that understand vanquish soul understand what this is all for because then after that you're going to be going to one of your two rock of the vanquisher to be able to pop off with your vanquish soul stuff uh for bonus cards in here that aren't necessarily engine requirements but are good cards to have we have one ip mascarena uh one dark the dark charmer gloomy one hita one nightmare unicorn one access code talker one underworld goddess one scrap dragon and one scrap twin these last two are really good in some hands going second uh to really help you break boards and deal with stuff just fantastic cards plus i have the ultis so of course i'm going to want to play them but uh, you'll notice there's no Apollosa in here, which for a scrap deck is kind of weird, but we usually don't end up making it going first, so we opted not to run it this time around. And I do not have a side deck for this, guys. Um, well, I do, but it's just kind of all dependent on the games in your areas and how the players in your areas play their decks. So you kind of build that to whatever specific scenario. But for a bare bones engine deck, that's just a really good time. It's definitely a gimmick. But if you want to have fun with the deck, this one is actually not too expensive and a very good time to play around with. So I would definitely recommend at least trying it out on your simulator and just seeing what you think with it. Um, of course, you could swap around some stuff to fit more hand traps in there and definitely make it a more competitive deck. I just focus on the engine itself and making things operate together. So please keep that in mind when looking at this deck profile. But that all said, that is all I got for you guys today. So thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you all next time in Scrap Laboratories. Peace.